Okay, so here we are on day two looking at meiosis again. Today I wanted to address just briefly how problems can arise in this process. As people get older, our spindle fibers don't seem to coordinate their efforts quite the way that they used to when we were younger. Since spindle fibers have a role in dividing chromosomes, what that means is that potentially spindle fibers might not grab hold the way that they should. So let's just go back to this point in our cell division process. If these spindle fibers here were really strong and these were a bit more weak, what could happen is instead of just pulling these two chromosomes over to the right, what if we grabbed all of them? If you pulled all of these chromosomes to this side, that would mean that this cell up here has two additional chromosomes that it wasn't supposed to have. I'm not going to draw them in green. I'm just going to simply draw them there. Actually, I can do them in green. And that would also mean that they're not down here anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and cross them off. Okay. If they're not down here, then they're not here, or here, or here, or here. That's a problem. That's an inaccurate chromosome number here. This would be a sperm cell that's actually missing a chromosome it should have. If it potentially went and fertilized an egg, this one went and fertilized the egg, you're now going to have a zygote. It's missing a chromosome. Okay. If we're missing one chromosome, it's referred to as having a monosomy. That's when one chromosome is missing. And we're going to be looking at examples of monosomy medical conditions. On the other side, we have the extra chromosome pictured here. That means we have extras. If it did divide properly going forward, you're going to have an extra green here and an extra green here, meaning you're going to have a green here and a green here. And if that zygote came from one of these sperm in that egg, that's going to end up being a zygote that has an extra chromosome that it shouldn't have. There's a name for that as well. It's called being a trisomy zygote. Now you really should only have two copies of each chromosome. That's the correct amount of, of genetic information. A monosomy means you're missing genetic info. And a trisomy means you have too much. That doesn't mean this person gets superpowers. But it does mean that the body gets confused when it's making chromosome or when it's making proteins from the chromosome material. So it may be that the person has a host of medical conditions, and frankly, more often than not, it means that there is never a zygote to begin with, or if there is a zygote, that it doesn't actually develop properly to become an embryo and then a fetus. About 50% of all pregnancies end in miscarriage, and the most common reason for them is abnormal chromosome number. So as people get older, this has a tendency to occur more and more through pregnancy, which is why generally men and women aren't as able to have successful pregnancies as they become older. There's a particular age where we're most fertile, and this is part of the reason for that. We're going to look more closely at specific monosomy and trisomy 